Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and I finally, finally, made the plunge. If you don't, if you know what this seal is, you are also excited. Because this seal means we have our order from the Beauty Bakery. I am dying with excitement right now. I have wanted to try their stuff for so long long. But we are going to dive into this today. We're going to talk about the stuff. We're going to swatch some stuff. We're going to talk about the brand. We're going to see if we love the brand, if we hate the brand, if their stuff is just overpriced. I have heard such amazing things about them. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start. I am going to get my face on. Yeah, because that would be what I need to do first. See, it totally throws me off because there's no foundation. Like, I'm so used to foundation. But I figure before we get that far, I will show you how cute this package is. This will be the first product that I end up using out of the box. And it is the setting power, pow powder. But look at this. Okay, just look. And then on the side, it ha even has like nutritional information. What does it say? Come on, I gotta look. Oh, it talks about one sweetie pie serving is 100% vegan. Lightweight, yes. Mattifying, yes. And then it gives you all the ingredients to it right down here. Baking tips. Our flour can be applied two ways. Using a brush, you can lightly dust your entire face for a full matte look. Or two, with the gentle pressure, use a makeup sponge to apply flour to your T-zone to absorb excess oil. Aha! So it's just a normal setting, but I'm so excited. Okay, I'm dying. Like, this is how, this is just the cutest little package. And then you open it up. How pretty is the, I've, I have never opened mine. How? Oh my good lord. And it just says the Beauty Bakery across the front. Oh my god. And this, and I did pick this up. I should probably mention this. This is translucent. They do have four different colors. They have like a beige one, a darker brown one, a pink one. I saw somewhere that you can get the whole collection, like all four powders, and use them as blush. Or I'm sorry, not blush, but like, you know, blush and contour and that kind of thing. And I was just like, I don't know about all that. I'm going to go with translucent because... I'm pasty. <laughs> okay, so let me get some foundation on and some concealer on, and then we will start with this. I'm dying. I'm dying. So excited. Ooh. You know that feeling when you get like a hair and it's like, like you feel like you're beating your face, but you feel like there's a hair, but like there is no hair, but like you feel one, so you know it's there. I've been like wrestling in here for like 10 minutes, and I'm convinced that right here there's a hair somewhere. Because it freaking itches, but I can't find the hair. But aside from that, we are going to bake with this translucent powder that I'm really excited about. Oh, I should probably take off the stupid little strip that tells me... There went some more nail polish. Dude, I don't know if it's just me. Do you guys have any suggestions for, like, hardening top coats? Because KL Polish is my absolute, I mean, hands down favorite polish. It's beautiful. I love her line. If you haven't tried it, klpolish.com. It's amazing. Not sponsored or anything. I'm just obsessed. I've bought every release since it came out. It's made by Kathleen Light. She's a, a YouTuber here. And, like, I'm all about supporting the fellow YouTubers. So I went, of course, I checked out her first launch. Best nail polish of all time. Um, but the only problem is my nails are br more brittle and I open packages and stuff all day. So like, I mean, within three days, my nails are just janked and it's just not good. And I need a good top coat. I'm trying the SE gel setter right now. Pfft, my nails blew right through it. It lasted a couple days extra, but like, I'm still only on like day what, like four and it looks like it's day like, I don't know, 322 over here. Okay, anyways, back to reality. Let's try to figure out how to get this plastic piece. Okay, okay. My only little complaint right now, their little sifter cover that is stuck to the sifter doesn't have a lift tab. Beauty Bakery, if you watch this, needs a lift tab because your girl hardly can't pick it up. Okay, there we go. All right. Whew. Oh, wow. That's a good sifter. That's a really good sifter. I got like the perfect amount out. Okay. All right. Let us, we're going to go and we need to like... Repay. I need to move the camera. I feel like you guys are looking at my shoulder. Okay. Is that better? I hope that's better. Okay. So I'm going to repat out any of these nasty little wrinkly rinks that we get down here. And we're going to take some on the beauty blender. And we're going to go right in and see how beautiful we can look. I mean, we're already beautiful. Come on now. So as I do this, I think now is a good time to talk about affiliate information for, well, mainly specifically for this brand. Um, I did reach out to Beauty Bakery about affiliates and links and that kind of thing. Um, 
and I was actually approved. I tried to get a coupon code because like that's like my jam and I feel like there's no point in being a YouTuber if you don't at least try to get a coupon code. Like the people that only want affiliate links so that they can make money pisses me off. I'm like why? Why do you only want to make money? Why don't you want to save other people money? But I try anyways I tried to get a code and they don't give codes to people with like I think it was like under 10,000 subscribers so get subscribe and hit that button and because once I get there that opens up apparently like a whole new host of coupon codes and I'm when I tell you guys like I am constantly reaching out to people asking for coupon codes I'm constantly asking because like I feel like that's one of the things that you should just do you know when you're into beauty and when you're loving a product it's not always just about loving the product. It's about making it so you can actually afford to purchase the, your loved product. You know, there's a lot of stuff on Sephora that I love, but damn, I can't afford that shit because there's no coupon code. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I need to ask everybody for a coupon code. Well, I hit them up and they said I don't have enough subscribers, of course. So, but, but I do have an affiliate link. I will link all of these down below and affiliate links. I think I just get like some like small arbitrary percentage, but I won't link it. Um quite frankly unless I like it I'm not I'm not that kind of person um but just so you guys know I will have affiliate links this is one of the first videos I think I'll be doing with affiliate links that's kind of exciting um I've reached out to a ton of company and when I say a ton I mean like I've probably reached out to 50 companies if not more um and a lot of them you'd be shocked like they do not do business with small people like me. Like, I only have a hundred and some subscribers, 130 some subscribers, and that's just not enough, you know? My page doesn't have enough views or this or that, and they just, they don't mess with it. And it's like, okay, I see how you're doing. I see how you do their world. And then some of them, my favorite, my favorite is when they claim that they don't do work with, like, we don't do work with influencers or we don't ever send product. And I'm like, girl, don't mess with me. The 4 million subscribers, I see you send them stuff every week. Do not mess with me, okay? Like, I know you're lying. And I'm going to lay it all bare because you don't lie. Like, why would you lie? At least Beauty Bakery came right out and they were like, yeah, you don't have enough subscribers for us to care about you. And I was like, okay, but they gave me an affiliate link, so that was cool. But I was just like, <laughs> don't mess. Like, what was the one company that I sent the email? Oh, God, who was it? I think, it, was it Milk Makeup? Milt or Melt maybe? I'm not sure which one, but it was, oh God, it was so funny because that was, that was their whole deal. It was like very straightforward, like very, we, nope, we don't, uh, we don't send products. And I was like, why do you gotta lie to a girl? Why do you gotta lie to a girl that clearly knows all about the U of two and sees your packages? Like, it's one thing to say like, hey Paige, no, we don't want to work with you. You don't have enough subscribers. Okay, well, that's understandable. But like, don't lie. Don't lie. Lying is upsetting to me. So let's get back to this product, shall we? Um, all right. Wow, I actually really like this. And I'm not saying that because, oh, that's another thing we need to address real quick. I would never sit here and be like, wow, I like this. And then if I hear one person say like, oh, that's only because you got an affiliate link. No, I have had plenty of opportunity to exploit my position and to push products on people and to build that side of my life. You know, anybody can go around pushing products, get people to buy, and then go back to the company and say, oh, look at what people bought through my link. Oh my God, I'm so influential. But that's not me. If I don't like it, you're going to know. Which reminds me, after I'm done setting my face, I am going to pull up prices. Um, but I want to take a look here at this first. Now the next thing we will be doing is eyeshadow, so I am going to prime my lids. I always prime my lids. I didn't get a lid primer from these guys, but I did get a lid primer from Smashbox that I'm loving. <laughs> and I think I talked about this in a video, like my Smashbox uh, foundation stick review. But this 24 hour photo finish shadow, pri shadow primer, fabulousness. And I also want to take a little bit of this translucent powder and I want to set my lids with it because that's how I roll. I feel like when, when I use the, the powder, like there's always a really light powder that comes in a palette. And a lot of people always set their eyes with that, which is totally fine. You can do that. I don't just because then you run out of that shade. I'm like translucent powder, girl. I don't ever run out of translucent powder, but I do run out of that light shade. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You guys get an A for setting powder. I absolutely love this. I love this finish. It goes on so light, but it delivers such a beautiful, like, overall just like mattifying effect which is totally my game like I love me a good mattifying and I mean it just it looks so nice on the skin it looks fresh it looks light it looks nice and brightening it's not one of those translucent powders like um 
what was that one I used? The co I think it was the Cover FX. The the ones that have like the a little bit of color to them that are not a true translucent. They make my skin look very dark, so I can tell right away if this is an actual translucent powder or if it's like a beigey translucent powder. And this one is just oh my god, it's so beautiful. Okay, this one there will be a link to because it's gorgeous. Oh my god. Okay, so this setting powder is $24. Yeah, right? Yes. Okay. All of that for that. Now we're going to move on to brows and it's called brow knees to go it comes in this cute little box and then once you take it out of there it's just a cute little pomade style or what what cute little pomade style situation with frosted glass very cute all right and i picked mine up in the shade brown wow all of that for brown and this was $16. And if we're going like fluid ounce for fluid ounce, this has 0.1 ounces in it. And like my Anastasia pomade right here, that one has 0.14. So it is like right in the market. And I think this one, I think my Makeup Revolution one is like 0.08. So it is like, it's a nice medium uh, level there um, for the price for a, high, for a you know higher-ish end one, medium to high end. Um, and that's what the product looked like. That actually should be a pretty good color for me. We're going to go in. Boom. Let's do this. Oh, wow. Okay, that literally... I, like, tapped. It's probably not going to show up on camera. I, like, just barely tapped into that. And, I mean, it just cuts through it like a razor blade. This stuff is, like, so fluid. It feels very soft. All right, let's do this. Horrible brow aside, this brow gel is really nice. Is, is it just me or am I, like, am I the only one that there's, like, a slight enjoyment out of, like dipping into a fresh pomade like I don't know kind of reminds me of like slicing into the peanut butter like for the first time and just like whoo. I don't know maybe it's just me but this is a really nice brow I'm digging not brow I'm sorry brow gel my brow looks awful but the brow gel is very nice I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna finish my brows I'll be right back Okay, we really do like the brow gel. I like it, don't mind the brows. I had a little bit of a snafu and then I was like trying to conceal the brows and like shape them out and then that didn't go so well. So like if you got some hate for my brows, you could just like walk away. But we're gonna bust in to the Neapolitan Ice Cream Palette. I'm really excited. Is this not like the most beautiful packaging? Like, come on, it's so cute. Ooh, okay, so it comes with a little protective sheet, which we're just gonna get rid of. Um, the cute little mirror and then look at the colors. Okay. Let's like look at some of these. It looks like you get mattes and shimmers. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. Let's just like swatch a couple. Okay, um, a little the matte purple here, which is sliced almonds. That one is a little bit under pigmented. They do have fallout on them, like it was kind of all over my hand just now. Alright, let's see what we can come up with here. Where is my crease brush? Crease brush, and we are gonna start by going in with the shade Sunday Fun Day, which is just this nice little brown shade definitely has a decent amount of fallout. I don't know if that's going to pick up on camera, um, but definitely some fallout or er, kick up. I'm not fallout as of yet. That blends out really nicely. Holy shnikes. And it did have kick up in the pan, but there was no fallout on the face down here. So that's good. Wow, that is really pretty. Okay, um, what kind of look do we want to go for? Like, we know I have to somehow incorporate this purple, that sliced almonds color, and I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start building that on the outer crease because I think that that and this brown are going to look really pretty together. So, things to note, it is a beautiful purple shade. Actually, you know what? Hold on, I'll zoom you in. That is such a beautiful, and I don't think it's going to pick up on camera, but it blends out very nicely. It definitely goes on as a lighter shade of purple, which at first I thought I was going to hate, but I don't hate it because it blends very nicely and it builds beautifully. Like I originally, normally I would hate that, but I feel like for the shade of purple that that is, which here's an up close shot of it right here, um, for the shade that it is and how buildable it is, oh my god, it is gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the other eye and I will be right back. Yes, that is gorgeous. Okay, I love that shade. Now, I don't want to neglect the other eye products that I picked up. So we're going to put this down for just a second and show you the other stuff I got. So I did pick up, I got stuff in my face. I picked up three of their 
Ice Cream To Go, which is just um, a cream eyeshadow. I also picked up their, I think these are just called sprinkles, right? Yeah, they're sprinkles. And basically their sprinkles are, what does it say on the back here? Our sprinkles are the perfect topping to your eyes, especially if you're wanting to go all out. Used with our sprinkles, used with our sprinkles glue, this look is sure to last. Open and close lid carefully. Remove with our remover, which I'm assuming any remover would work. But I also did pick up the sprinkles glue because I was like, yes, girl. I mean, I think for sure we should probably at least look at some of these gelato ice creams over here. I love that all their lids are like these. Oh my God, and it's that same frosted glass. Oh God, that's so cute. Oh wait, holy piss, what is this? Oh, <laughs> this one is a, ja a, a jack. This one is a black eyeliner. That's why it is black. I'm like, why would I order that? Mm, okay, forgot I ordered that one. So hold on to that one. So I did order that, and I guess I ordered two of the cream eyeshadows. My bad. That looks more my speed. Oh my God, it's so cute. Dude, this packaging is killing me. How cute is that? Like seriously? Oh, that is pretty. There's like a little bit of shimmer to it, but very pretty, like light peachy pink color. Oh my God. Can you imagine just doing like a, like a light brown transition shade, darkening it up on the outside and then just putting this all over the lid? Oh my God, so pretty. Okay, now I'm like really excited to see the other one. By the way, this one, this is the shade Sherbert Bar Ice Cream. And then the next one is Soiree Parfait Ice Cream. These names are killing me. Oh, oh my God. Okay, I'm spent right now. This one's even silky. Oh my God, it's like gooey. Oh my God, it's like holographic. Do you see that one right there? It's like a shapeshifter holographic situation. Oh my God, so pretty. I'm so excited. Okay, so what do I want to use? Okay, I gave myself way too many options. Well, let's look at the sprinkles. I mean, while we're at it. This is, see, I can tell when I'm like super excited because my videos become more and more like disjointed as the time goes on because I'm just too excited. All right, now these are the sprinkles packaging. Cute little white lid. Oh my God, that little pink writing on it. I'm a packaging whore. Like if you didn't know it already, you do now. Okay, so this is white sprinkle. There went the lid. Okay, as long as we don't drop the sprinkles. They're very, oh God, they're so like white shimmery. They feel like if I try to swatch them and run them on my finger, they do feel a little bit gritty, kind of like craft glue a little bit, but I think that's because they're probably meant to just go like right to eye on top of the glue um, because what's not going to pick up is like all the little white pigment. It's only picking up like that glitter pigment. Um, so there's that. I need to find the lid before we have problems. And those white sprinkles are, what shade are those? <laughs> They're in the shade white sprinkles. And it says that it is face and body glitter. The other sprinkles I picked up is in the shade silver sprinkles because girl, they are silver sprinkles. These ones are like very New Year's eve -y. Like, can you, I don't know how well that's gonna pick up, but can you see that? Like, okay, New Year's Eve, what's up? I think I wanna take the Soiree Parfait Ice Cream Cream Eyeshadow. And I wanna take some of that, pop it on the center of my lid. I feel like when I put it on my lid, it lost a little bit of that reflectiveness, but it's still a really pretty shade. Like, I don't think it's gonna show up really. Oh, it is a little on camera. It's only on this side, but. So let's go ahead and pop this on both. And then on top of that, because you think I'm gonna stop there? No. On top of that, we're gonna take the sprinkles glue and some of these white sprinkles because the white sprinkles are calling my name. Oh, 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 oh yes. Yep. Life is happening. Okay, so I went ahead and I did run a little bit more of that purple sliced almonds on my lower lash line. I blended in a little bit of this uh this dark you scream color right here um, on the outside of my upper V just to kind of like pull the whole glitter look out and round it off. And then this shimmer shade right here on my upper brow bone and in my inner eyes. Oh my good Lord, is it the most beautiful shade. That is probably one of the most beautiful like natural meets like shimmer shine eyebrow. Oh my good Lord brow bone highlights I have ever seen. Okay, I forgot real quick, I need to run through the prices. How about I zoom you out though? This palette, the eyeshadow palette is $38. And that comes with 12 shadows, the mirror, 
um, and that's 38 bucks. The little ice cream, like what are, what are those called? Like gel eyeshadows or whatever you want to call them. But those are $16 a piece. The sprinkles, I think, were part of their bake sale, which is where like a bunch of their stuff goes on sale. So these were $7.50 a piece. And the black gelato um, eyeliner, which I haven't used yet, but that is $16. Oh, and the glitter sprinkles are, the glue is $6. We are gonna move on to my eyeliner now. It has been so long since I have done this kind of an eyeliner. Oh Lord. Okay, I had a little bit of a mishap on my inner eye right there, but that's a really pretty black. I like it. Ooh, girl. Don't know how I'm gonna fix that, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this part. It's so pretty self-explanatory, but we'll talk about it after. Okay, so my thoughts on that liner, it's actually really nice. I did, hold on, I got a surprise. I did a tiny little wing. They're both really small, you can barely see them. But for me, that's a lot. And they're very cute little wings, just a little boop, tiny little bit. But I really like that liner. I think that it goes on like a dream. Um, I'm not one to use this kind of liner. I am a very big like felt tip liner user. And so for me, this was like a learning curve, which is why it might look a little janky. Sorry about that. I have literally not used one of these in like two years, but I think it looks really pretty. Like it goes on nice. I even put it on the waterline on the bottom just to see, and it went really, really well. So I'm gonna keep doing my face and then I will see you guys again when it is time for some highlighter. Ah. Okay, so second to last product that we have to look at is the Beauty Bakery So Icy Illuminator. It comes in this adorable little like ice cream looking container and basically what it is it says on the side our light diffusing highlighting illuminator imparts an iridescent glow for any part of the body baking tip lightly dust your cheeks or brow and gr and glow all right and it comes like this you just kind of Got to take, see this one has a little pull tab on it. What the hell? Oh, but it didn't work. Okay. Well, we're going to call that enough because my pull tab's coming off in little pieces. And we're just going to sift some of this into here. Oh, wow. That is pretty. Look at that. Oh, it's like a golden color. Now, keeping in mind, normally this is not my color, but we're going to have to make it work because we don't have a choice. So we're going to go in with some of this. We're just going to put it on. Oh, wow. Oh, this is going to be intense. Okay. It almost comes off in like a chunky looking type deal, but you really can diffuse this and like blend it out and make it look just like a nice natural sheen. That's so pretty. I bet if I spray my brush and then dip in and put it on, I bet it would stay a little bit more together because you know, I like a blinding highlight and like I want this to kind of stay all together. Okay, so after I set my face, like I feel like this highlight looks even more amazing. Like I'm dying. It looks so good. I feel like once you like meld it into the skin, it gives like such a, oh, just a beautiful glow. I can't even describe it. Um, so I'm ready now for my lipsticks and that is the last step in this fun situation. I picked up two that are regular, just like plain matte liquid lipsticks and two that are the metallic persuasion. The lip whips are best worn alone and not in conjunction with any other product. So if you decide to use lip liner, keep in mind that it could affect the long wear of the lip whip. Now, you have probably seen these if you are like into makeup at all. You've seen these on Facebook. There was a girl that she put like swatches all down her arm of her of the lipsticks and then like ran them underwater, nothing happened. She poured Dawn dish soap on her hand, rubbed it in and then ran it underwater, nothing. So these are supposed to be like just fabulousness. I guess. I don't know. I've never tried them. I haven't even like opened them. I'm really excited. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these, but I want you to see how beautiful they are. Like, the two down here obviously are the metallics. The top two are the mattes and just, oh my god, so beautiful. Like frosted glass. I love frosted glass. It's one of my favorite things in packaging is a beautiful like frosted glass. Oh god, so pretty. Let's go ahead and swatch some of these. Okay, the first one is gonna be Rosy Posy. Wow, they go on like a dream. That's rosy posy, like a nice metallic color. These are so velvety, it's ridiculous. Okay, that next one is waffle cone. You know, for metallics, I thought that these were gonna be like more unwearable and these are such wearable metallics. Oh my gosh. This one is berry pop, just like a matte liquid lipstick. Oh my, okay. Oh my God, it's like the most page color you've ever seen in your entire existence. It's like a dusty pink and the shade is bubblegum crisis. So these are the four, that, that bubblegum crisis is the bottom one, but look at those. 
Oh my good lord. Like, I don't want my face in this. I only want you to focus on the lipsticks. Oh my god. Now, their liquid lipsticks are $20 a piece, which really isn't that bad. I mean, that's about what you'd pay for, like, a high-end liquid lipstick. Um, which one do we think for today? I'm going to go with this bottom, the dusty pink one, um, which is Berry Pop. Oh, wait, or is that Bubblegum Crisis? I think it's Bubble... Yeah, Bubblegum Crisis. That's the one we're going to go with here. Oh, and you know what I forgot? This illuminating highlighter was $32. I forgot to mention that. So this is $32, and there's quite a bit in there. Does it have, like, the ounces on it? Because, damn four six ounces so there is almost half an ounce of glitter in here so a lot of it is packaging i don't want you to think like you're getting this entire cup full of glitter no so my lips are dry no no liner no nothing i just realized if these are this permanent how the hell am i gonna get these off my hand <laughs> this is gonna be fun all right we're doing it i'm nervous because they're permanent by the way too i want to touch on this adorable like they've got a nice applicator on here it's like slanted with the little hole in the middle focus on what i if that didn't just focus, I apologize, but it's got a nice applicator, was the point of the story. All right, let's do this. It feels so weird, like, nothing else, nothing at all. I did exfoliate my lips. I, I always do that, though. That's like a daily thing. Oh, and it does say not to rub your lips together. As I, and that, That's what made me think of it, because I almost did. Uh, yeah, we're there. We're to, this, we're to this stage. And I will let you know in the description box if this actually did last a long time, because if it does, oh my god. Whew. Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. I did, I had to go change my outfit. I wasn't feeling it. Like, you know how sometimes you get ready and you're just like, I'm okay with it, I'm okay with it. And then you're just like, no, I'm not. I'm not okay with this. I don't feel like myself. So I had to go, I put on a cute little dress and a cute little cute little flannel over top and I feel, or flannel, what am I talking about? Cute little jean thing and I just, I feel much more myself. I don't feel, I feel like I might have under glammed a little bit for this look, but overall, this is the finished product, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful, um, that if you guys were kind of on the fence about this brand, that this helped, you know, my review. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comment box. That's what I'm here for. I will answer them to the best of my ability. Um, and I will put all of my affiliate links in the description box. If you want to shop and shop through those and support me, that's cool. If you don't want to, that's fine too. It doesn't matter to me. Um, again, I was more in this to try and get a coupon code to give to you guys, which reminds me. I found a coupon code when I placed my order. I didn't really find it. It's one that they offer on their website, but it is a 10% off coupon, um, and the code is WELCOME10, just WELCOME and then 1010. And uh, so that would save you 10% if you want to sign up for the emails and get 10% off that way. But as far as like a code from me, I can't get one until I get more subscribers, like a lot more subscribers. So subscribe, and um, if you have any questions, again, hit me up, comment, like, subscribe, uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That way we can get those coupon codes. Because once I move up in the world, I can get coupon codes. That's really all I care about. Like, screw the affiliate links. All I want are the coupon codes. Am I the only one? It's a problem. Okay, I'm going to get going because I'm really, really late. And um, I will talk to you guys all later. I'm super excited. I love, I think, everything. And these lips, like, I'm actually, I don't know how I'm going to get these off my hand. I'm, I'm intrigued, <laughs> to say the very least. I will talk to you guys all later. Um, I hope that this was helpful. Bye. I get going before I'm even ready. I'm like, ta, 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 ta. Ah.